so now I'm going to start off by creating a new canvas and I'm just going to fill this layer with a black color. Now it depends on you what color you want the background to be. I want mine to be black. Now I'm going to add text and I'm going to type in hello. And I want some space between the letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase this tab, which is tracking. What it does is it just increases the size, uh, increases the space between the letters. And I'm just going to increase um, the size of the whole text like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this text layer and I'm just going to place underneath it and I'm just going to hide I'm just first just going to drag it downwards so that I know this is layer where I'm going to draw lines on I'm just going to hide the layer above it now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm just going to fill it with white color. And I'm going to rasterize the text layer where we are going to draw the lines. And I'm just going to create an alpha lock on it. Now I'm just going to paint it with a black color. Now the reason why I'm doing so is as my background color is black, so the black part of the text is anyways going to be hidden. And the only part that is going to be visible is the one with the lines. So that is why I um, colored this text with a black color. Now, if your background color is pink, let's just say, then you are going to paint it pink because pink is the part which is going to be hidden. I hope I hope you're getting what I am trying to say. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another layer where we are going to create the lines. I'm just going to select the tool that I want to create the lines with, which is this technical pen from Inking. Now, if you don't already know, Procreate doesn't have any line tool. So in Procreate, how it works is just draw a stroke, hold on to it, and it will create a line automatically. So with that in mind, we are going to create lines. Now make sure you are drawing, you are creating long lines, for example, like this. And I'll tell you why. So as you guys cannot really see how I'm drawing the lines, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color of the lines and I'm, uh, I'll be recoloring them later on. So yeah, I'm creating long lines. And again, it's up to you what space you want between the lines. Don't worry about it being perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to select this and I'm just going to drag it down. So that we don't have to draw the lines over and over again. Now I'm going to merge this, merge this down. Duplicate. And again, drag it down. Now you can obviously go ahead and arrange it accordingly again duplicate this layer select drag it down now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna merge it down with all the layers that we have and I'm just gonna erase the part which is going over the 
of the letters because we want the same type of spacing of lines on each letter. And don't worry about being so dirty because we are going to be creating clipping mask anyways. Now I'm just going to duplicate this layer again and select this and take it over another letter. Erase any part covering another letter and keep on doing this until you are done with covering all of the text. Once all of these layers are over the letters, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge all of these together and I'm going to create clapping mask. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create alpha back onto it because I don't want pink color lines so I'm going to paint it with a white color like this and now I'm just, just going to merge okay merge it down with the initial letter layer now what I'm going to do, I'm just, just going to delete this white colored background layer and I'm just going to unhide the text layer. Now I'm just going to select this uh, lined text layer and I'm just going to adjust it behind the text like this, however you like it. Now that's how you create, let me just bring everything in to the center and you can also merge it down with a drop shadow layer but I'm not doing that. Now that's how you create hashed drop shadow text effect. I kind of forgot what I was going to say, so yeah. Sorry for that pause, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big, big thumbs up. And I will see you guys the next time.